Hello guys, welcome back. It is Monday and I thought I'd do a what sold video. I didn't have to do this. People don't like Nuji showing these sort of videos if they haven't done very well. Well, I have had a really quiet weekend. Um, I don't know why, really don't know why. Maybe because it's that coming back to school thing. Uh, there was a change on eBay which always seems to mess up things because of that percentage thing where you can send offers. Um, I also had some really weird thing that happened this morning. I had 256 offers where I could give to people. And then when I tried to do them, they just went, they went, they just didn't do anything. So yeah, I don't know if eBay's uh, playing up with me. I'm gonna see what it's like for the next couple of days. Um, I'm gonna absolutely blast it this week though, because going away at the weekend so yeah um i need to just knuckle down and list as much because it's starting to get overloaded as you can see got stuff here which is stuff that's sold but i've still got all the stuff i just need to yeah get on with it and i want to show you the reality of reselling um and also show that person that keeps on trolling um i think he's now onto about a fourth or fifth um profile and um, saying not sold much today well, yes, you are right. That is the only thing that's right about you because I haven't sold much. But am I hiding away from it? Am I not um, doing a video about it? Because this channel's all about the truth and being honest. And sometimes it is like that. And if somebody's looking at this channel thinking, oh, I want to be a reseller, you've got to have, you have your good days and you have your bad days. And this weekend's been a pretty bad weekend. But... I have still smashed out some absolute good sales, especially one which is, yeah, a very good sale. I'm gonna go into vintage first because there's less as always. And yeah, vintage seems to have been just gone quiet again. It went really good last week and the week before, and now it's just gone quiet again. Um, but yeah, I sold this, this was free, so it's a bonus. It came in a LOL, like little dollhouse, but this is not actually LOL, it's Barbie. So six pound for that cost me absolutely nothing. And then was these um, pretty nice leather boots. They actually do sell for quite a lot, some of them. Um, I would have sold these for a lot more, but the condition of this is not the best. Um, but they're all right for winter. Um, and yeah, I sold them on Vinted for 12 quid. I had them up for 15. I just wanted a quick sell. I only paid two quid for them. I don't know if you can read it. It, says, it basically says tangled figures. And if you obviously are a regular to my channel, you know I picked up a load of cake toppers, little figures, and I've done really well on them. I think I've only got Moana left. I think that is the only ones I've got left. Um, oh, and the... Um, ELC like ice queen ones, but I'm asking quite a lot for them because I know they fetch a bit But yeah, somebody said can you sell these on vintage uh, for 10 quid to me? And I went yep, yeah, you can have them for 10 quid because <laughs> they're Basically, it's free money. You don't even owe me anything But yeah, an extra 10 quid in the kitty from that Amazing bundle if you don't know what I'm on about go and check it out It's the one where I picked up a big box of like um cake toppers stuff like that i have literally made a few hundred quid off five quid absolutely amazing next one on vintage is a subscriber pixie you've bought something from me before now you bought this little cute uh pokemon yeah it's an official pokemon it's i've had it for quite a while uh cost me about 50p i think or something like that but well, she's had that for seven pounds. Also, I sold these on Vinted. These are a pair of Levi 501s. Um, all real, not all the tags, loads of tags, no, all are real. Um, yeah, see, I do sell clothes. Um, picked these up for a quid, and I sold these on Vinted for a tenner. They probably are worth more, but I've had them hanging around for a while. Um, I bought a couple of pairs from the car boot. He just had loads of jeans. Don't know where he got them from, but he had loads and loads of different sorts of jeans. So I picked up a couple of Levi's. One pair sold quickly. I think it's because there was a bit of a um, different colour, quite nice colour. And yeah, sold them for 10 quid. So we're now on to the sales on eBay. 
And finally, I have sold this. And I do not know why this has taken so long to sell. It's not complete, but I've got the box. It's got the main part, and um, there's just a few pieces missing. I picked this up for five of thinking, look at this, my sort of stuff, and it's gonna be worth, what, 30 quid, maybe more, because it's boxed? Not really. Um, Solds on this seem to go for around about 20 quid, and I've had it for ages. Not long, long, but, you know, for a few months. It's a bit sad, really, because the micro machines seem to be so under-depreciated. You know me and my sales from the micro machines from previous videos where I've made hundreds of pounds off the military stuff and other ones. But when it comes to the actual sets like this, they don't seem to fetch that much unless it's certain ones. I have still got all my ones to sell um, from that big massive bundle. So yeah, I might actually list them because it's coming up to Christmas seasons now, in it? So people will be wanting to buy toys, but yeah. This is obviously for an adult because no kid's got to be wanting this because they don't even know what micro machines are. I sold this for seventeen fifty on a bid and it cost me a fiver. Next item I've sold is this. It's all boxed. It is working and it does charge. Um, it's a little Hayu band watch thing. Uh, you know, like a like a little uh, Fitbit watch. I, I did test it. It all works fine. It's in the pictures anyway. Doesn't fetch much, but I've only picked it up for two quid. Had it on for 19 99 Somebody gave me an offer for 15 99 and I just took it. The next item is this, and I picked this up from one of the car boots, and I think it cost me like one or two quid, not much. And it's a pom-pom dancing mini. It works, you know, it's nothing wrong with it. Really nice little uh, toy. Obviously, Disney toys do sell well, especially ones that move and talk. I've done really well with talking toys and i just always pick them up if you can pick up these for like a couple of quid you're going to be making at least 15 to 20 quid if they're more rarer you can fetch a lot of money for some of them i sold this for 15 pounds and yeah it's a good one i like that one it's, i've never had one of them before the next item well if you join me on my lives you probably saw me uh like yeah, you probably saw me what's happened over the last week. On that live, while everything was happening with obviously that bundle, I sold these and that's from the bundle. And from the eye, you probably think, oh, they're nice. And they are nice. They're very good. But they're not very good in condition. They are like in, like they're not falling apart. But when you have a look at the bottoms, they are all like got like stains all over them. It's like, that, I don't know, it's like a chemical reaction thing on them. You can see them there, see? Like there and there and there. Yeah, it goes all over the bottom of the leg. So it looks like whoever had them stepped in some sort of like chemicals which actually react with the colouring on these trousers. But I sold them when I was doing a live when everything was kicking off uh, for 19.99. If you know, I paid £130 for a 10kg bundle. So the clothes that I got worked out to about £5.50 each. That's how much this is worth. And I sold these for £19.99. The only reason I think these are sold is because one, it's somebody he may know. We don't know. It's a bit suspicious. I still think it's suspicious. We'll find out. And then, yeah, I have a funny feeling they're going to come back. I don't think they would say. I just don't think. I just I just don't think it's a genuine buyer. Even though they've bought it, I just don't think. I just, it just makes me wonder how these sold right right in the mix of all that that um, discussion about the bundle. We'll find out. I'll probably let you know if something does come back from it. But yeah, $19.99. Next item I sold was B2. Is an RC classic. Uh, kids program when I was sort of like well I was coming out with the kids uh, stuff it was more like I was a teenager when I, this came out I think um, and he's interactive well it's not interactive he talks I sold him for £15 I think I paid about a quid 
I don't know, it's such a long time ago. Um, next item was one of my buoyancy life jackets, brand new as you can see. I picked these up from Stafford. Um, somebody was selling three of them. Two of these ones which are like 2XL and I think a kid's one which is a blue one I got. I paid £40 for three of these. Reason being, one of these is worth 40 quid and I've sold this one for 39.99. Last sale was this flick. Didn't get this too long ago. Uh, picked it up for like pounds. I only picked it up because it's a vintage one. Um, I always pick up vintage plushies because they do sell quite well. And yeah, it's in okay condition. Um, nothing, nothing special about it. I sold that for 10 pounds and it cost me one pound. So that's all that sold this weekend, only 12, but um, like I said, it could be multiple things. It could be the time of the year where people are saving up for Christmas. End of this week is a payday, so it could be busy the end of this week. Um, and also it could be what was happening with eBay. I mean, the new change, obviously that weird thing where I got like over 200 offers. Um, so, yeah, it could be multiple things. Um, like I said, I have been listing, but I haven't been listing as much as I usually do. So maybe that could be another reason. We don't know. But this week I am going to be like smashing it. I'm going to be listing as much as possible because I am going away, like I said. So after I've wrapped all these, I'm going to just be listing all day, all night. Listing as many as possible. Obviously, I've got to schedule some for the weekend as well. And just try and absolutely blitz it. It happens. Some that's the thing about reselling. Some days you can sell lots. Some days you can sell none. Some weeks you can sell lots. Some days you can sell hardly nothing. But other days you can have one or two big hitters, which are just make your whole week. That is reselling. You know, don't listen to other people. Uh, don't watch other people who are boasted about all these sales. Um, or all the or listen to other people saying oh hi you haven't sold that much because everybody is different yeah obviously we all get different stock we all live in different areas as well it all depends you know i think sometimes it is luck because like the flick i've seen other ones on there and i've sold mine before them it's just a look at the draw that is the look at the draw but i made over 260 quid um for that weekend so it's okay, you know, it's okay for a weekend plus what I had in the week. So, yeah, it's not as good as I usually get. I usually get another, at least another £100 in over a weekend. Um, but like I said, the next couple of months are going to be like really, really busy for me anyway. I'll, um, and yeah, I want to smash my total from last year, which I'm not far away. So hopefully we can do it. While we're shooting this video, I've just checked my subscriber rate is now about 4,015. So we're still growing, people. We're still growing. And you've got to make sure you're subscribed to this channel because there's going to be a lot of ways to win the prize. And if you want to have more chances, I'll, I'll explain it in another video. It will probably be Thursday. Unless there's um, no car boot on Wednesday because of the weather, because it's absolutely chucking it down. Um, it'll probably be Thursday, and the competition will be running for a whole week. So probably next Thursday after will be when I announce it. I might announce it on a live, I don't know, but I will do another video for it anyway. You definitely need to enter it because you don't really want to miss out on a prize that could be very good for you uh, to resell. Or maybe I might get something that where... You can't resell them. It might be just like a gift. You'll find out on Thursday because I think I am going to do it on the Thursday video. So hope you enjoyed this. If you did, remember, you got to subscribe, like it, and I'll see you tomorrow with the Charity Shop Challenge, which